Hi everyone. Um, so this channeling I'm guided to do is for the Aquarius new moon, which is, today is the January 20th, so the new moon is tomorrow, but I'm guided to tap into the energies today um, and also bring in probably a sound bath to kind of help integrate and process what we've been uh, working through individually and collectively. Sorry, that's my cat in the background there. Um, so yeah, the, the main messages I got in meditation for this channeling is a lot more assistance with releasing grief um, in whatever way that can be. It can also be grief of us just releasing old habits. It doesn't have to be huge things of grief, um, but there's a big emphasis on that clearing of grief still. Um, and a lot of just integration codes I'm getting, um, especially on this dark moon right before the new moon, we can have a lot more triggering shadows coming forward, um, things to process and perceive from new waves of uh, introspection. So be gentle with yourself if a lot is coming up for you today. Um, for me, I'm feeling very tired, so I've been trying to just allow myself time to rest, but also get things done and um, move the body, all of that stuff. So let's tap into the codes. Uh, a lot of these codes they're saying to you right now is that they'll help us um, find our way through uh, the path that we maybe have been trying to move down. There, there's an emphasis because all of the planets will be direct moving forward until April. We have a lot more supporting us and momentum moving forward instead of uh, things slowing us down for us to process and clear and all of that. So these codes will help uh, all, of, all of the things. Take what resonates and if it nothing resonates, that's okay too. Nanya na no shomoya anani okora kodasha ukodoma ania kari okodasha nia ka aisha ukuku ashi ni mokoya kaya kodo eshi ko yokodo amokoto kodo 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 Na nani a okor mokoya shi i a nani a rakodoma a ni a karakodoma sha uku a i a ni a karakokomo a ni a shiku uku ya di na nani okor mokoda sha do ya uku doma a ni ki okor kodoma sha a ya ki 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 okodoma ka uku a ka ya ta uku do uku do a sha uku do a shi uku do da di a sha ki uku do do. あかのもこどだやしきやかどどどどおこともこどどいまかだおこどしておこわしゃにきき Clear. Okodama sha ukodo inama asha ukuaka inama asha ukodama sha niakor yokodo shodo. They're saying these codes will also help strengthen us to listen deeper to our intuition, our subtle nudges, uh, even through uh, possible chaos or just even an overactive mind state. Okodama sha ku yokodo kodo inama korra kado shiti okodoto. Amoya ni kariyo toto isha ni akara kodoma ukodoma shadi akodoma ani akara kodoshi di ukodo shukodo sha uku asha ni kai kuku ashukodo ashu ima amoyo shumo yoko yoko ya ashi okodo ikada ukodo they're even saying an activation of our um our ways of creation our ways of innovating uh, Aquarius is very much the innovator the uh, age of Aquarius is what we're in currently right now. We're moving into, and it was 444 on the clock there. So what does it mean to you to be an innovator, to be creative, to follow your dreams? Uh, even perceive life through um, 
the age of Aquarius, whatever that means for you, they're saying uh, we're all going to have different visions of what we want for the future, what we dream about. Um, but taking stock of what you value, what you want to keep integrating into. Focusing on, uh, focusing on what already is working, they say, not trying to fix what's broken or what has been challenging. Stepping into the new, stepping into uh, the higher frequencies of technology, of your emotional intelligence, they're saying. And take a deep breath, deep breath right here if you can. Stepping into our authenticity, our sovereignty, So they're saying this is also, these codes are a continuation of the previous Arcturian light language um, activation that came through that was very much a cleansing of the blood system, the organs, detoxing. So there's more detoxing going on. Uh, and you will detox in what way is best for you and what you're ready for. And it also is in connection to what state of consciousness you're moving into or already have been in releasing old states of density. They're showing it's almost like flushing a car system so that it can run smoother, cleaner, uh, maybe even changing the oil <laughs> per se. Um, so that I'm hearing also drink lots of water with after these codes or even in general to help your system function really well. Process, uh, processing energetics can have a huge toll on the physical body, especially if it's very deep ancestral trauma that's been in our DNA for centuries. Um, it can sound crazy, but it, it's, it's all working together. It's all functioning the way it's meant to for us. Even in our darkest of moments, we are supported. We are right where we need to be because that's where growth happens. Where our roots of our uh, grounding can grow even deeper into who we are, into uh, creating, moving forward. Practicing grounding. So these are um, heart upgrade codes. Sending love to any grief, any stagnance, um, stagnancy of pain, loss, or any just old emotional places within the system. There's a huge emphasis they're saying on being grateful for where we're at again in this way, especially from the new year, all these resolutions that we can kind of get sucked into of trying to make our lives look a certain way or feel um, 
a newness. They're saying that um, we're all exactly where we're meant to be. And when we always long for something, we're longing to feel more home within ourselves or feeling more accomplished, more seen and heard. So giving yourself this moment in time to allow yourself to be and know you're whole, you're accepted, you are seen, you are loved. Even if your to-do list isn't done, even if you haven't finished your goals, just taking a moment to step into that presence of your embodiment. Holding space for all of it. Nashakuyao they're saying these codes right here are speaking to your higher self and your subconscious so you don't need to logically understand but feel into what these codes bring up for you or what you feel I keep hearing awakening of the dragon. So if you connect to dragon energy, that could be a message for you. Or even just your power. When we think of dragons, they're very powerful, very mystical. accepting our shadows i kept seeing the vision of the moon outlined in its shape but completely dark and in juxtaposition to a full moon so allowing those two to come together to meet in the middle of who our center our being is i'm even hearing kundalini rising so we'll take that as you will but it's an invitation they're saying to face our shadow to face our light as well our our duality the duality that exists within the collective within the universe to find more peace to find more acceptance to find more um more love within all aspects of all of existence take that as you will I'm hearing in this way too, and when we can accept both or try to in a new way or just within another moment accepting, um, we don't necessarily then need to know if what our truth 
is is valid or if it's um, accepted by others. This practice is for us to feel and know that what we believe, what we feel is truth, what is existing for us is our reality. And that's all we need to um, search externally, they're saying, if that makes sense. Um, and in that way, too, we can accept someone else's truth for being their truth and not necessarily us having to understand or agree with it, but to say, okay, you live in that reality and I want the best for you, whatever that may be. Um, and that can, I know, can be hard when there is harm or a lot of very extreme situations for that specific acceptance or in the collective in general for the world. Um, but they're saying allow a little bit more compassion, even if it may be challenging for ourselves, because when we have compassion deep enough for ourselves, we can find it for others and for the hardest things to stomach. And in this way, the Aquarius energy is one that looks to its own path, its own way of existence, and it doesn't necessarily take in its surroundings as how to then be itself. So they're showing me in this way, it's allowing your own cup of self-love, of self-care, of acceptance, or even that darker allowance of being in our shadow, being in the aspects that we try to suppress or not show others, allow that to overflow so then it can be given to others in this way the the bearer of water of aquarius um the intellectual state as well because it is an air sign we have that um way of processing our emotions from a higher state of consciousness <laughs> I'm hearing as well, you may get a lot of information on this new moon through your dream state. So be aware of what messages you receive or how you just feel when you wake up. There's a lot of messages coming through there. I'm also hearing even really close to um, like when you go to sleep even or like around nighttime, uh, early morning, there's a lot of potency and they're even saying um any illusions that may come forward just try to witness them so i'm being guided to mention in the last video there was kind of a warning or a um a message about um being aware of illusions or even um what was the term they gave me um fear mongering and it was interesting because within probably the next day or the same day um i got hit with my own personal kind of fear mongering if that makes sense like the way that i was getting the information was that we're all going to feel it in different ways and it's kind of hitting upon our subconscious fears. And mine got hit pretty strongly to the point, and it was through social media as well, to the point where I had to disconnect from social media and also kind of find that laughter that the Arcturians were trying to show me about not taking it so seriously because fear is just kind of this juxtaposition of um, the, the duality, the illusions that we can create through our subconscious that we can attract as well. So if you felt very triggered the last couple weeks, um, know that you're not alone, that we're kind of also, when we get triggered or have these fear mongerings come into our system or this activation of our subconscious fears, it's, a, it's an opportunity to then accept it and know that if it, that fear does come to fruition, we're still going to be able to move past it. We're still going to be able to um, not be fully taken down by that fear. And uh, a lot of it was around the earth changing and these polar shifts of um, extreme weather and all of that that came up for me deep within um, the pandemic. So it was this huge another recurrence of my own fear. 
um, and moving through it was very interesting and it still kind of will I think always be something just find deeper acceptance with and compassion for however the earth decides to keep shifting um, but also there was again through the media through social media uh, kind of blown out emphasis on it so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So there's a lot of um, like blue avians with this energy, this frequency. So if you feel connected to that star seed energy, know that they're extra enhanced right now. A lot of Palladian energy and Arcturians as well. A lot of elementals. So if you feel connected to any of those star seeds, know that they're also being enhanced um, or maybe even brought out to you for the very first time through these codes. So if you're having either uh, flashes of these beings, um, I'm hearing that they're part of your team and I'm here to be activated for you, even a part of your past lives, past um, frequencies of remembrance. Um, because my intention with taking the time to do these channelings is to help guide um, you closer to yourself, closer to your remembered state of whatever that may be or bring up for you because even as I channel I am bringing in information for myself that I'm wanting to gain or remember or release as well so take all of this as you will there is no right or wrong I'm also hearing this might activate your own abilities to channel to experience light language to even um, connect with other interdimensional beings. Or even just have a little bit of peace. And in saying that too, I feel guided to say in connection to those fears that came up for me, it's interesting because I feel my purpose is to always try or the best I can to embody peace and those fears throw me off my center off my balance of holding peace for whatever is meant to happen so it's interesting how our fears are our duality or our polarity of what we connect to as our purpose or our innate frequency of authenticity or sovereignty so um, if you feel guided to kind of investigate what your deepest fear is or your fears and then maybe it can lead you into finding more of your authenticity of your own state of frequency that you kind of naturally occur on a higher state of consciousness uh if that makes sense <laughs> So I'm hearing right now, for those of you who have a womb space, uh, there's a huge amount of clearing happening this month and into February, they're saying. This uh, Aquarius new moon is cleansing um, really old stagnancy within the creation space, our sacral chakra as females, um, or if you have a womb gender-wise in whatever way, uh, or even if you just connect to the feminine energy very deeply, you can be also releasing a lot uh, internally. So be very gentle with yourself, uh, no matter where you are in your cycle, in your journey. Especially if you're feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, uh, or even in the void, the dark moon right before the new moon is the void moon. It's... Um, brings up a lot. Okay, we're going to close up here. Take 
take a deep breath here. So I see a lot of um, like rainbow light, violet flame energy, and um, this golden platinum light coming into all of our systems, coming in from the earth as well. So we have it kind of sandwiching, seeping in from our crown and through our feet. So grounding and then connecting up to our, our crown, up to our soul star chakra. Um, will keep us centered, keep us in a state of receptivity and also releasing as we ground through our feet, through our earth star chakra. And this way too, we are being kind of cleansed of anything that's stagnant within our system, the grief, any sorrow. Um, I'm hearing even any expectations that we feel are kind of coming falling short or hard to obtain right now, it's okay. We don't need to do anything right now. Um, especially within a void moon, it's very much about being open, being receptive, taking some silence, taking some time to reflect. So whatever you feel guided to do on this new moon, really heed your intuition, heed what your body may need. If you need to kind of isolate and be alone to process, then do that. If you need to reach out to someone that you feel supported by, do that as well. I thank you all for being here, for being yourselves, for showing up in whatever way your days look like. Um, the world's a better place because you exist and I'm grateful to interact with all of you and honored to share space as well. So I hope you all take care and I'll see you soon.